It's Wednesday, October 2nd, 2030, and we've done it. We pushed all the right buttons, and finally, after 10 years, the Sacramento Athletics have returned to the playoffs. Not since 2020, the shortened season, uh, has the Athletics franchise been in the dance. And now we're dancing. I cannot believe it. Uh, Like I said, we pushed all the right buttons. The acquisitions we made, the guys we brought up... uh, it was the right move. So, let's get into what happened. What happened to Greedy Emerson? Ugh, he's got to be better. Anyways, um, so, Luis Frias uh, was very good for us. 3 for 4 ERA in 52 and a third innings. Good pickup. Jesus Garindo, best season of his career. Welcome to Gonzalez, best season of his career. Hunter Brown, very, very good season. Was it the best of his career? Yes. I would say it was his first full season as a start of the season in 2024, uh, probably a close second for Hunter Brown. And Carlos Rodriguez, the best season of his career. So a full rotation of career years for us. Uh, all of them acquisitions over the past, what, a year and a half, except for Fria, or except for Grindo, who's been here the whole time. Um Pushing the right buttons. Like I said, T.J. Brock finishes with 38 saves, uh, which, if I look, was not good enough to crack the top three. Jace Young was here in OPS in the American League, but he got hurt. We'll get into that in a second. Um, Brock, 2.79 ERA, almost a you know a net neutral R WAR player, but the the F that's a weird season. I don't get it. Uh, Frasso, good year from him. Funderburk, you know. Uh, you know, it slipped. He's down to a 404 ERA, but he's a good swing man. Um, Brandon Hughes did not succeed with us a 524 ERA, but as a lefty, he's made the playoff roster uh, with the, you know, uh, weirdness of relievers. I didn't know he went to MSU. That's fun. Sterling Heights native. Pat Brasseur, uh bounced back 378 ERA in seven starts, 12 relief appearances, 47 and two thirds innings pitched. Christopher Sanchez, uh, 336 ERA, good year for him. Reggie Crawford, this whole stat line does not indicate that uh, over the past few weeks he has been a good addition to the bullpen. Um, 0.8 R war over the last two months of the season in 21 innings as a lefty. Uh, and he is the worst pitcher that's made the playoff roster. Left off uh, is Joe Little. Um, and then who else was the other guy we left off? Drew Jones. Drew Jones actually made his major league debut for us. He did not debut with the Diamondbacks. Um, so he played five games, 14 plate appearances after ripping up AAA. He will be back next season. Oh, no, he does have, he has an option year left. Okay. Uh, and then we'll go into the hitting after this quick injury update. Roancy Contreras. Uh, Torres Flexer tending these out for the year. He's a free agent after the season and wants this contract. We'll offer him the qualifying offer. Alfredo Duno out for the playoffs as well for three weeks. Uh, 81 OPS plus over his first season in the major leagues. Um, a promising young catcher, but he's out for the playoffs. And then Jace Young, who was fantastic, our best hitter. Uh, only played 116 games this season, but was, was a... 160 OPS plus guy, nearly 30 homers, probably would have been on pace for 40 uh, to 45, but he's out for another week with a hamstring strain. Maybe if we beat Toronto here, uh, he can come back for the CS or the DS, maybe. The lineup. Some guys came up and, and played well. Denzel Clark, the best season of his career. Sensing a trend. Uh, 20 homers, finally. For the first time in his career, he is a free agent as well. He should win the gold glove. My God. 27 zone rating in center field for Denzel Clark. A great season, uh, but he'll probably be gone after the year, unfortunately. We'll see, though. Braden Montgomery cold to end the year. Uh, Bad month of August and September. He was down to a 130 OPS plus and did not improve in the field. Unfortunate for Montgomery, but still a, a good player. Bobby Hunter. Um, came on towards the end of the year, a, a plus fielder uh, at third base. And I'll have to see what he did here. Yeah, September and August turned it on. So happy to see that from Hunter. 
Lawrence Butler um, was an average player for us after coming over from Arizona. You know, not going to expect too much from a deadline acquisition. Uh, happy that he didn't bottom out. Um, but, you know, he's made the playoff roster and he'll have a chance. Uh, long-time athletic half season in Arizona comes back to Sacramento for the stretch run. Good storyline. Connor Griffin, the story of the back half of the season. I mean, August and September, ever like the moment that I quit the video, he turned it on. Um, 190, I mean... Come on. He'll have a shot to challenge for Rookie of the Year despite basically being asleep for the whole uh, first half of the year. 557 played appearances, 125 games played. Nearly 20 home runs. He had four in July. Um, and he hit, what, 15 in August and September? Yeah, I was right. He had four home runs in July, 15 in August and September. Wow. What a season from him, uh, back half of the year. A really good season in right as well. Very excited about Connor Griffin for next year. And in these playoffs, Austin Charles, still the same guy. Pena, Moncada was a heck of an acquisition. Um, Great BABIP buoyed him, but as a uh, a platoon guy all over the field, he got his at-bats. 49 games played for us everywhere, uh, all over the diamond. And uh, he played first, second, third, left for us. Um, 136 OPS plus. A great acquisition. Tim McFarlane um, had to start at the end of the year. He was okay. And we hope that he can do it in the playoffs. Really good month of, month of September, though, finally in a full-time role. Jacob Wilson, another call-up, who uh, took his opportunity and ran with it, making things tough for me without any options. Uh, 157 OPS plus, not a great second baseman, so that dings him a bit and probably will not lead to him being on the team next season, but happy to see him finally get a shot in the big leagues uh, and produce, and he's made the playoffs for us. Former first-round pick, now at age 28. You know, we'll see. Abeladejo, um, bad with the bat in 45 games played, still has rookie eligibility, um, but was so good at shortstop that it didn't really matter. We'll see. I don't know. Um, probably should have brought somebody in, but who cares at this point? Oswaldo Linares is the backup catcher for the playoffs. He played two games in the regular season. So, safe to say that Tim McFarland will get the lion's share of plate appearances. And Aaron Bracco struggled. Uh, he's the replacement for Jace Young right now. He struggled in the regular season in 48 games played. But as a lefty guy, we needed a lefty bat on the playoff roster, and he fills that role for us. He'll pinch hit. He's available off the bench. Um, So we have a righty pinch hitter and a lefty pinch hitter. I'm happy about this. Um, The rotation is very good. And we face Toronto. Who? Well, so let's look at our Pythagorean record. 95 and 67. We should have won the division. Uh, Texas wins it with 91 wins. They were only supposed to win 92 games. So if, if things went... You know, the way they were supposed to, we would have won the division. Wyatt Langford, 47 bombs, though. Man, what a season from him. Uh, But anyways, Toronto, on the other hand, probably shouldn't even be sniffing the playoffs. They're 86 and 76 in the regular season. Pythagorean record of 78 and 84. So they are not a great team. Jeff Schumann is their best player. Third baseman, um, former top pick in 2027 ninth overall. Rookie of the year last season. They have Jordan Alvarez. Um... Although, did they play him in the field all year? Yeah, they did. So he didn't really generate much value. And then Chris Hutto is getting the getting the, the ball uh, for game one here. 23 years old, 2026 20, first round pick, number eight overall. Um, 468 ERA in the regular season and 190 in the third innings. Takoa Roby and Spencer Howard, who spent some time in our minor leagues, um, didn't come up for us in the bigs. I think 2027 was the year that he was with us. We traded him. So he'll have a shot to start against us. Joel Bigham. Wow. Rookie closers. 45 saves. Um, their pitching isn't good at all. They have Reed Detmers. Um, they have Quinn Priester. Brock Stewart's a fun name. Brandon Fott. But their pitching is not very good. Their offense is, though, with Schumann, Alvarez, Garrett and Mitchell. Um, Thyron Lazaro, and Chase Davis, of course. 
who ever since we traded him to Toronto has been amazing. Finally, the player that he was billed to be. Um, two and a half really good seasons. Uh, goal glove caliber, fielder, and uh, a lot of power in that bat. So he's been our, our biggest miss in terms of a guy we've traded. Uh, and he'll have a shot to, to get us back, as well as Nassim Nunez, who ended up with Toronto. Um, so this is a fun matchup. I do want to look at, before we get into this, my decision history. So the worst thing we've given up so far is Chase Davis, the worst player. Davis Martin behind him, Darius Vines, who was a World 5 draft pick, who I was surprised had as good of a career as he did, but he has. I mean, he's just put it together. Um after we let him go, Soders from this year for the Mets, a good year. 129 OPS plus, but I was happy to get off this money. Um, but his contract finally turning out to be a good deal. Back-to-back 36 home run seasons, 100 RBI seasons. Emerson Hancock, very good season for Colorado. Uh, but we got Hunter Brown back for him. And then Zach Jeloff. whoa. He had a good year this year, finally in the big leagues. Breaks out. Um, that's fun. Best season since his rookie year. Estuary Ruiz now in Chicago. Vukovic in Kansas City having a good year. Finally as well. We got him for Austin Charles. Or got Austin Charles for him. Um, so a few breakouts. Teams keeping the faith. Ken Waldachuk still kicking it. Um... So who's on our list? Vargas, what did he do this year? Very good season for Boston on a prove-it deal. Best season of his career. Yeah, so I'm not really... I guess, I don't know, maybe it's on aggregate. I'm just making moves to improve, but... Um, some of these moves haven't turned out the best. Jacob Cozart? No, he. who had a good year in this trade? Soderstrom, my bad. Um, and then go off. Okay. Manuel Pena is the best trade we've ever made. What are Pozo and Angeli still doing? Nothing. Is Mervis still around? Yeah, he's still in the bigs. He's just, like, is bad. And teams keep giving him opportunities. He's been worth a negative win each of the last three years. And then the one guy I want to look up is Mason Miller. With the Braves, relatively bounce back year, but whatever. Okay, so I'm going to simulate the first game. If we lose, um, or how much time are we at here? 12 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to simulate this first game. If we lose, uh, we'll play the second one and see, you know. We're going to play the elimination games. It'll be the first time we've played games in this series. So the first game is Chris Hutto uh, against Luis Frias. Let's see what happens. Oh, no. An off day first. So we're 17 wins better than this team on the Pythagorean scale. But only three wins in the regular season, and that is an extra innings loss to the Toronto Blue Jays 2-5. to TJ Brock blows it in the 10th. What a shame. All right. Uh, let me bump this volume up. Here's the first time that we have played with this team in the series. At Toronto. Or are we at Toronto? I didn't see. No, versus Toronto. We're at home at Arco Park. Um, pretty evenly matched. Now Frias gets the uh, the ball here against Takoa Roby. Turn that down a little bit. So we'll see this ballpark here in Sacramento. Sellout crowd for the A's. Garrett Mitchell up to bat first against Frias. The trade acquisition. Beautiful sweeping shot of Arco Park here in Sacramento, California. Mitchell, swing and a miss, strikes out. Jesus Mendoza, full count, walks. First runner of the game. He's a base-stealing threat, and Jordan Alvarez, 6 for 15 against the A's this season, straight to the second baseman, Manuel Pena. Schumann, 2-2 count, strikeout count, and 
he is caught looking. Lawrence Butler, first up for the A's against Takoa Roby. 372 ERA in the season for Roby. Real life Cardinals prospect. Soft tapper. Two Roby makes the play at first. Bobby Hunter steps in. Right on right matchup. Hunter, 268 average, 22 home runs. Pop fly, easy for Nassim Nunez, who is playing second base today with Mendoza playing short. Mendoza, very good young player, 22 years old. Um, his best years are out in front of him. It's a fun player. Now McFarlane with two outs, one two count, the catcher batting third today. Slaps one into center field, playable easy for Lloyd. Who is Lloyd? Kevin Lloyd? 25 years old. This is a young Blue Jays team, eighth round pick in 2027. Freeus against Nick Kurtz. First base prospect in real life. Kurtz walks on four pitches. Second walk of the day for Freeus. 2 2. Thyron Lorenzo. Thyron Lorenzo strikes out on 2 2. And now Chase Davis, the former athletic, hitting all the way down the lineup today. Surprisingly, double play ball, and it's turned. Pena to Albaladejo. Over to first to Austin Charles to make the play. Connor Griffin now steps in. His first playoff plate appearances that we're seeing. Playoff first for a lot of these guys. He flies out to center. 2-2 for Austin Charles, an unsung hero on this team. Grounded to third, and a good play by Jeff Schumann. Yoan Moncada, the trade deadline acquisition. 12 home runs total between here and Atlanta. He strikes out on five pitches. Free is back up to face Kevin Lloyd. Lloyd, a 331 hitter in his rookie year. Line drive to Connor Griffin makes the easy catch. Nassim Nunez now. Another guy looking for revenge. 3-1 count. He walks. Three walks for Frias. A bit dangerous. Schumann comes back up as the lineup turns over. Here is Nunez out and running. McFarland cannot gun him down at second. Garrett Mitchell. 1-2 count. One out. Man on second. Mitchell back up the middle. Nunez will round third. And... The throw home is held for a moment too long by Denzel Clark. And it's 1-0 Toronto with the season on the line for the Athletics. Mendoza into center field. What a play by Denzel Clark making the sliding grab. Backhand grab. Two outs for Jordan Alvarez in the top of the third. Grounder to first play made easily by Austin Charles. And we will go to the bottom of the third here in Sacramento. Manuel Pena, 3-1 count. Still looking for our first base runner. He taps at the second base. Nunez to Alvarez at first. Still hoping for an error from Alvarez, I would say, with his defensive profile there. Denzel Clark, 2-1 count. Pop up to the shortstop. Mendoza. Now Baladejo. His first Plate appearance today, 1-2 count strikes out. And we go 1-2-3 once again in the third. No base runner so far. Uh, and, and perfect is Takoa Roby. Frias against Schumann, 1-2 count. Schumann to short. Valadejo, easy routine play to first. 2-1 for Kurtz. One out, top of the fourth. Infield fly. Now Beladejo calling for it. Lorenzo. To second. Easy play made. So a pitcher's duel through three and a half innings. Lawrence Butler now to face Roby. First pitch offering. In play. Deep to center field. Into the gap in left center. Lawrence Butler rounding first and in with a stand-up double, even though he slides. First base runner of the game as the lineup turns over for the first time. Do we steal third? I kind of want to. 80 steal for Butler. 
doesn't go. Lorenzo has a good arm. We won't risk it. Bobby Hunter. Butler makes it to third anyways as Hunter grounds out to first. Lefty and righty Tim McFarlane. One-two count for the rookie catcher. He swings and misses. The third strike is dropped by Lorenzo, but he gets it to first for the uh, to complete the strikeout. Connor Griffin now up. Lawrence Butler at third. He has been for two outs. Do we strand him here? 0-2 oh, count for Griffin strikes out. And Butler is indeed stranded at third. Still a 1-0 ball game entering the fifth inning. Free us up to 60 pitches. I'm going to warm somebody, I think. Um, they're alternating lefties and righties. I'll bring up our best lefty. Who would that even be? Funderburk is tired. Sanchez, probably the most reliable. But Crawford, I like better, I think. Chase Davis 0 for 1 tonight. First pitch offering from Frias is fly to left. Butler ranges over, makes the catch. 1-2 count for Kevin Lloyd. Nearly halfway through this ball game. Swing and a miss. 3-1 count again for Nassim Nunez. He walked on the last one. This time he puts it in play. Coming up is Butler once again. And on to the bottom of the fifth. We'll think about... Crawford coming in third time through the order. But actually, I think we'll bring up Carlos Rodriguez. He's hot. Austin Charles to face off against Takoa Roby. Too early for a pinch hitter. Charles puts it in play on 2-2. Pop fly to right. Moncada now. The 0-1. Up the middle. Nunez easily makes the grab. Full count for Manuel Pena. He walks. I'm going to try and steal second here with Clark up. And it's an easy play. Not even, like, what are you doing, Pena? Come on. Okay, top of the sixth. Um, Frias is done. Rodriguez is coming in. Grounder to second, easy play at first. So the first relief appearance for Rodriguez this season in a big spot. Uh, we need run prevention here. We can't lose this game one nothing, man, too. Uh, Rodriguez comes in, or excuse me, Jordan comes in on a full count against Rodriguez and a great grab by Denzel Clark, showing you why he is a gold glove center fielder. Quick inning for Carlos Rodriguez, and now we need to get some damage uh, against... Takoa Roby and a base hit into right field for Denzel Clark. He reaches first. Albert Albaladejo up. I'm going to try and steal again on Lorenzo. He's a good catcher, but uh, we need a runner in scoring position with a poor hitter up. Clark doesn't want to test him. 1 1 on Albaladejo. 2 2 now. Swing and a miss. Second strikeout for the young shortstop. And now Lawrence Butler up, who has got the only other hit of the game. Full count. Down the right field line, fair ball. Let's see if Denzel Clark scores here. Butler, second double of the game. Does he go for three? Can't see it. Does Clark score? No, he's over to third, sliding. RBI double. No, it is a, a, a RBI double for Butler. Scores Clark. Butler on the throw over comes to third. I don't know why that's not a triple then, but... I guess that was the decision that Chase Davis made. Any, In any event, tie game, 1-1. One, one. Um, I'm going to think about warming Brandon Hughes. Bobby Hunter up. First pitch, one out. Struck into center field. We're going to send Butler, and he scores. So 2-1 on the sack fly from Bobby Hunter. McFarlane with two outs. 1-2 two count. Pokes one into right field. 
keeps the rally alive. And Connor Griffin comes up with Roby still in the game. We're about to chase him. Full count for Connor Griffin. Roby losing it a bit. Another jab in the right field, but this time playable for Chase Davis. That's the end of the sixth. We score our first two runs of the ballgame, take a 2-1 lead. Rodriguez will keep him in the game for the time being. Against the righty Schumann. 1-2, strikes out. Now the lefty Kurtz, we will bring in Brandon Hughes to face the next three batters if he needs to. One out, 0-1 count on Nick Kurtz. Deep shot into center, ranging over is Clark makes the grab. Two outs, top seven. Lorenzo, the switch hitter, batting from the right side, 3-1 count, he walks. Chase Davis up. 1-0 count, double play ball once again, second of the game. But with two outs, it's an easy play to second. Reed Detmers, former athletic, pitching for the Blue Jays, Austin Charles. I think, or no, it's righty and lefty, what am I talking about? Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Warm Crawford. And Austin Charles against the lefty Detmers. Full count. Flaps one into left, and it is caught by Garrett Mitchell. Moncada. Full count again. Strikes out. Probably could have pinch it for him, but... Eh. Um, but now, with Pena up here at second, he's been struggling. We will put in Jacob Wilson, see if he can do anything. Pops it up. You know, it's a decision to pinch it with two outs, but it's the decision you make. I'll keep Hughes in there for this batter. 2-2 two -two on Lloyd. Taps one to left field, and a diving grab made by Lawrence Butler. We're going to get Brandon Hughes out of there. He's been roughed up a bit. Nassim Nunez batting from the right against the lefty Crawford. 1-2 count. One out in the top of the eighth. Strikes him out, and now to face Garrett Mitchell, the lefty. This is why we brought in Crawford. Full count to Garrett Mitchell. Taps at third base side, down the line. Base hit for Garrett Mitchell, his second of the game. In at second is Garrett Mitchell. Jesus Mendoza, first pitch offering from Crawford to third base. Play made by Bobby Hunter. We're out of the eighth inning. So who will close? Probably another lefty again. Bring in Sanchez. Detmers against Denzel Clark. Strikes him out. Now Baladejo. 1-0. Sky to center field. Is that out of here? It is gone! El Baladejo, the first home run of the postseason. 462 feet to dead center for the light-hitting shortstop to extend the lead to 3-1. A good insurance run. Oh, my goodness. Now Detmers to face Lawrence Butler. And we're going to bring in Braden Montgomery. Thirty-two bombs. Trying to rough up Detmers, he grounds out to third instead. And now Bobby Hunter. Two strikes, two outs. Sends one to center, base hit for Bobby Hunter. And Detmers still in the game against Tim McFarlane. Pokes one to right field, base hit, two out, rally continues. 
and Hunter gets all the way to third. Safe. Sliding in. Connor Griffin to face Brandon Fott. Now, this is a big spot, uh, but I can't take him up for Brocco. So, Connor Griffin's going to have a shot here against Brandon Fott, the righty. 2-2. Two -two. Strikes out. Bobby Hunter stranded on third, but the solo shot from Mauricio Albaladejo. My goodness, what is the defensive position we have missing? No, we're good. Right? What are you talking about incomplete? He's playing left. We have our pitcher, right? Third, right? No, I don't. Nobody's hurt. What's the problem? We're good. Seconds. What? What am I missing? Very confused. Incomplete lineup or defensive position missing? No, we do not. We have our pitcher in. I have no idea what the deal is. If I remove the designated hitter. Good now? No. What the freak? First base, right field, catcher, pitcher, left field. Third base, second base, center field, shortstop, and we have a pitcher. What? Can I simulate? Can I go away, please? What about that? What was missing? What did I have to do? We had to put Brocco in. Why? Why do we have to do that? Whatever. All right. To the ninth. Christopher Sanchez in the game against Romy Gonzalez. 2-2. Two -two. Uh, the left. And the play cannot be made. All right, Sanchez is going to blow this game for us. Double play ball. Oh, my gosh. Come on. All right. Good thing we got that Albaladeo homer. Throw to third. All right. They're not taking Davis out again. 
Pop fly, right field, tagging runner. Please make the throw. Oh my gosh, he can't play right. Oh my god. <sighs> Tie game. This is brutal. No, th I mean, why are we so slow? And a balk. Wonderful. To left. Double into the gap. Frasso generates a full count ground out by Nassim Nunez, but we are now down 4-3. to three. And now Austin Charles is in the game, and I can't pitch hit for him because we got screwed. <sighs> Alright, first pitch offering. Let's see it. Third base side, nothing. Season is on the line. Moncada. 0-2. Nope. And Jacob Wilson. Base hit up the middle. Okay. We have life with two outs. Tying runner is on. Aaron Bracco steps up. Full count. Down the right field line. Still very much alive. And now Abeladejo comes up. 2-2. Two -two. Homer in his last at bat. Sends one into right. And Chase Davis plays it. Game over. We lose 4-3. to three, And we lose our first series in the playoffs to an inferior team. We blow a game in the 10th. And we blow a game in the ninth to lose 2-0 in the wild card series. Christopher Sanchez loses the game on 23 pitches. We'll simulate. How much time have we gone? 37 minutes? Okay. We'll simulate the rest of the playoffs here. You can see the stats on the left and right. Teal, the batting champion in the American League. Dominguez, again, uh third in four years in the National League. Langford nearly goes for the Triple Crown. Alright, they're just going to keep kicking me out to do dumb things like Jace Young. And Belladejo can't go into the season as they're starting shortstop, so we can... Uh, or no, we didn't. I don't want to option him yet. Hold on. Who's the guy we have optioned this season? Bracco. We had a shot. Man, we had a freaking shot. But we played the playoffs without our best hitter. The Red Sox, who are the best team in the American League, uh, best team in the majors actually, beat the Blue Jays in four in the division series. They go to the ALCS against the Rangers, who won their series against the Twins. Dunia eligible to come up. Uh, Linares, excuse me. The dog just dropped a bone on the computer. Linares can be DFA'd. And the Reds have a shot to make the World Series against the Red Sox. Have we seen that? Yeah, 1975 was Reds, Red Sox, but it's Red Sox, Mets, 1986. And I gotta move Linares back to AAA. 2 1 Mets. Three two Red Sox coming back. Um, so this is the end of season seven. We have three more seasons to go in this sim to see if we can win the World Series. It's a good start now, making the playoffs for the first time, and hopefully uh, we can continue to do so. We have some holes that will need to be filled in center field. The Red Sox come back from two one down to win four to two in the World Series. 
check their team out after this. I, I, I do think they had the best record in the bigs. Um, but three more off seasons, three more seasons. Or is it two more off seasons? I don't know. Three more, counting this one. Uh, so we make the playoffs for the first time. We won't fire our managers. The Mets at 89 and 73 make the World Series. Dave Volpe, number 14 prospect in baseball, their best player this season. Soderstrom goes to the World Series and hits very well. They have Alcantara, Walker Bueller, Max Meyer in the rotation. Very good pitching from the Mets, but the best team in the league. Boston Red Sox, 104 wins. Alejandro Rosales, minor league free agent signing. What year? Oh, he was one of the original international free agents. 37 bombs. Willier Abreu, Kyle Teal, Miguel Vargas, former athletics, wins the World Series. Josh Naylor, Matt McClain, the acquisition at the deadline from Detroit. They have Yoshinobu, no, Yoshinobu Matt. Oh, excuse me. Yoshinobu Yamamoto now. 225 and two-thirds innings, 17 wins. Very good season from him for them. Skeens as well. This is a near super team. Very good offense, very good pitching. So the Red Sox win the World Series. And now for us, we'll have to think about Hunter Brown, Denzel Clark, number of free agents, as you can see. Guys, we want to think about keeping. Look at that attendance. Haven't seen that for the A's in a long time. Um, nothing too interesting here. Oh, Yamamoto got hurt. Who was the MVP? What does it say? Teal got the ALCS. Oh, Vargas, man. I didn't even notice. World Series MVP, ALCS MVP, Division Series MVP, all in the same season. So Vargas, what? I mean, amazing. Teal actually got it last year in the ALCS. All right, I got to go. The dog wants to go outside. That's the season. Um, number of players and, and personnel leaving. But first season in the playoffs. All right. Catch you later.